Hi everyone and welcome to this quick video. Today I'm going to talk about foliage material inside of 3D Studio Max. So basically I'm going to talk about how to set up the reflection of the foliage, how to optimize the reflection to save some time in the rendering, how to get this nice effect, this translucent effect that you can see here inside of 3D Studio Max. So let's just jump inside 3D Studio Max. Let me open my material editor. I'm just going to delete my old material. Grab a new Arc and Design material. I'm using Monterey. You can use any other uh, any other uh, render engine. It it's a simple method and can work in your favorite render engine if you experiment quite well with the material. So let me just apply my diffuse. I have a normal map. I apply my normal and and you have a 30 2 bit image, you can just copy it, go inside, inside the RGB channel output, just uh, use the alpha inside instead of the RGB and plug this inside the cutout map. If you don't have a 30 bit, you can just import your own black and white mask and use it. First, let me talk about the reflection. So, let me pour an actual example here. I did the render of the three image you see here. This is an image without the reflection. This is an image with the actual reflection. That means the leaves are reflecting uh, everything around them. And this is a highlight only reflection, which means the leaves are only reflecting the light in your scene. The first one without the reflection took uh, 53 seconds to render. The second one with the actual reflection took 1 minute 11 seconds and the third one is 1 minute 5 seconds. You can see there is not a lot of difference uh, in the time but that's because the tree has a lot of leaves, millions of leaves actually and in a very large scene when you are rendering animation uh, using only the highlight can save you days of rendering and you can even see the difference between this one and this one there is no difference between them and you gain and render time let me go to the image here you can you can see any reflection other than the highlight from the sunlight. So to, to set up this side reflection, just uh, uh, turn on the highlight plus final gather only. Uh, this requires you to use final gather uh, to work properly. So you can set up very low reflection. I don't know. So maybe, and you have to use a mask for your uh, reflection in order for this to work properly. I'm just going to use my diffuse. I'm going to use a color correction to my diffuse in. Inside my color correction, I'm just going to desaturate this. So basically, and invert, invert uh, this one for a minute. I want the alpha, I want the alpha. Oh no, it's invert. And I'm going to use an output. Uh, 
enable the curves just tweaking the curve So let me go back here. Normal. And here to invert. Yes, this is what I want. Basically, the white will be reflective, and the dark will not be reflective. We can boost the amount. No, definitely not. And look this. Look this to the color of the reflection. As an instance, of course, you can see the change here. Basically, for reflection, this is it. Uh, let's move to the other effect, the translucency effect. So, here I have an example of um, a render I did. So, this is without the translucency effect, and this is with the translucency effect. And you can see the difference. This more look more realistic. This took 44 seconds to render. This is 1 minute 36 seconds to render. It's way... Take way more time to render, but I think the effect is worth the time, especially when you are doing animation. Let me show you an animation um, I'm doing here. You can see a combination uh, between the two effects the reflection and the translucency effect on the leaves of the top palm tree and on this tree. You can see that the trees look not so realistic because maybe I didn't set up them quite right. But you can see the effect, uh, the highlight and the translucency effect are adding more realistic looks uh, to the image. So let's move to the translucency effect inside my material. I'm going to give it some. Let's first apply it my geometry to show in the viewport. So um, let's enable the trans the refraction just a little bit. 0.3 let's place my camera in the opposite direction of the light because this is how we are going to notice the effect let me do a render and you can see this is just a basic reflection in order for the translucency to work, we have to enable the translucency and we have the weight. One will mean that the leaf is 100% translucency and zero means that we are not using any translucency. A value between zero and one will give you something like uh, plastic uh, translucency. But for leaves, you have to set this to 1. Uh, the color that the light is picking when it's going from one side to the side of the leaf is set up here. To just show you, I'm going to use an ugly color. And let me lower the Transparency, maybe 
and do the render we can't see anything maybe point six or something do another render and we still cannot see any difference that's because our geometry is one uh, side only it doesn't have any uh, thickness we have to go to advanced uh, render option until the material that our geometry is one side only so check the thin wall can be used with single faces you do another render again and you can see the color of the leaf is changing based on the color we choose color of the trans translucency we choose let me lower this to maybe point 15 or something do my render again all right let me So, so you can see the difference if I render well my camera is in the opposite direction of the light we're going and if my camera is in the direction of the light we are not getting much of the, the red color because there is no translucency effect in this way in this side so let me go back to my material I'm going to set up for a nice uh, for a nice effect I'm going to set up a mask to give a mask and the, the transparency the same mask we give the reflection and let me do a render you can see that again some nice variation of the way on the leaf so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a multiply the RGB multiply I'm going to multiply my diffuse my uh, let's see it's my reflection map with a color it will be a green color just a little bit Yellowish green color like this, and it's instead of this ugly color, I'm going to use this map as an instance, of course. And hit the render button again so you can see the difference. You can see this is a nice translucent effect. So let me just save this image as one JPEG. Okay. And let's disable the effect. So there is no translucency. And render again. Save this image. Mm. 
All right, let's take a look. Individual file. Let's open this one. All right, let's then find uh, the tool I I want to show you. This is without the effect, and this is with the effect. And we can see without and with the effect. You can go back to my tower material, change the color, something else. And the intensity of the color is now controlled by the, the amount of transparency by render. can see we are getting more more of uh, translucency and on the other side of the leaf we are not getting that much of translucency so this is all for this tutorial thank you for watching and see you on the next one